What's up everybody? It's your boy Matt Turner. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all of the love that you guys have shown me so far. Uh, I'm not big, but every single view counts and uh, I really appreciate all the support. Um, but let's jump right into it, shall we? That was my first day and how I got started on tea. All right, I can't believe that just happened, but I had filmed about like a quarter of this. I didn't realize my card was full, so let's start over. <laughs> Welcome everybody back back to my channel. Uh, my name is Morgan Turner. Some people call me Matt. Um, and uh, today I will be talking about how I started tea. Um, so this is going to be super informal. And forgive me if I don't look at the camera. I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> it's very interesting to have to just sit here and look at this this uh <laughs> camera in front of me <laughs> um so uh yeah we'll get into it um i did just get done with my workout so excuse me if i am a little bit sweaty um and i do have some food with me so i'll probably be eating throughout um if you're interested i for breakfast i can't really stomach um a lot of food early in the morning um i'm a late uh riser so it's about 12 25 i work out at 10 um and i still don't like putting a lot of food in my body so i just have some greek yogurt with granola um but yes how i started tea so i started tea um in august my first shot was august 17th but i had my first appointment um august 10th um, so I did not, uh, have to have a letter when I did my, um, when I made my appointments and everything like that because I did the informed consent route. I'll make an entire video about why I decided not to, um, go with the letter and find somebody who will write me something even though you don't really actually have to put in a lot of work to find somebody who will write you something <laughs> actually you can find a lot of people who you know are interested in and you know not gatekeeping um so yes i started august 10th i was just i told my girlfriend i was like hey I'm not gonna, I'm, future me would, I would be doing future me a disservice if I didn't at least try. So I made the appointment with a clinic, um, a local clinic down here. They have a few different areas. Um, I will link where I um, actually go down in the description. Um, but I go to a place called Absolute Care. It's really cool. Um, so informed consent the first appointment um, my girlfriend came with me um, so we sat down um, they have you do the intake patient information um, at that point I didn't use insurance because I was scared that um, since I'm on my family my dad's insurance I was scared that he was gonna get like some kind of random notification like within two hours that hey your insurance being used at this place and I was like uh, I don't want that right now because <laughs> I hadn't told them um, my plan was that um, it, in my mind it made sense that if I was paying for all of my stuff um, all my shots all my blood work um, everything about transitioning I actually pay for my parents don't pay anything they just let me use their insurance but my thought process was that um, since I'm doing all this myself, they don't have any control over whether I do it or not. Um, <clears throat> which was smart, but at the same time not necessary because they've been very supportive. Um, <laughs> um, so I didn't have, 
um, insurance that first time, um, I tried to find a paper. I had they gave me a paper where they listed out like all the different um, the prices of all the different things that they had to do. So I got my blood work done, got my blood pressure tested. Um, and there was just the appointment fee, but it ended up costing around two hundred and like nine dollars just for that first appointment. So if you can use insurance, please use insurance because my copay is only like thirty five dollars now, um, and that's generally it. I mean, blood work is a different scenario, but I don't even have to really pay that much for blood work. Um, so the first appointment, I went with my girlfriend. We met with my primary care doctor now. Um, and she kind of just was like, hey, how are you? My name's Yada Yada. Um, why are you looking to do HRT? Like, are you binding? Um, and she's not asking, are you binding just cause like, hey, if you don't bind, then you can't possibly be trans, which is what my, my thought process was, is that I don't bind. Um, and there's, I'll do a whole video on why I don't bind. Um, but I don't bind, um, so she was like, cool. And um, she gave me a document that listed all the risks. Um, so with informed consent, you basically read through a bunch of legal documents, uh, liability documents, um, sign a few waivers, and then um, they kind of talk about what's going to happen, how your process is going to be done. So the first appointment, um, they take my blood, they take your blood pressure, or at least they took my blood pressure so that they can kind of see where you're at before you start testosterone. And then after that, they, um, they really just sent me on my way. All I did my first appointment was sign the waiver documents and the liability documents um, and the consent forms. Did patient intake, um, got my blood work done, and then I left. So it was super easy. <laughs> um, that first appointment, um, she scheduled me for seven days later, so August 17th, and that's when I got my actual first shot. Uh, my girlfriend did not come with me on that one. Um, I went by myself. Um, and it was super easy, kind of. I did add my insurance on at that point because um, I made it a goal in my mind that by setting up these appointments, I had decided that um, for me, I wasn't comfortable going through this process without telling my parents. So by setting an actual date when I was going to, you know, actually start hormone therapy, it made me kind of more comfortable with coming it gave me more courage it can be it for me i work well under stress so um it kind of put me in a position where i was like hey you've already come out once before as a lesbian it's no different you're just procrastinating <laughs> you know how they took that one they were very accepting you just need to do it get it out the way um and this isn't the same for everybody for some people it's a very very serious matter um coming out but for me specifically um, it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, or at the time, I thought it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I ended up, <laughs> I remember when I, so I called them um, the day before my actual shop day on August 17th. And so I remember I was on campus at my girl's place and I just like, was like, oh, I gotta do this thing. And so I, I called them up and I think I spent about like seven hours, not seven hours. Wow, that's a super exaggeration. Can you tell that I can't think when I do this? Um, I spent about <laughs> I spent about maybe two hours, maybe an hour and a half just talking to them. Um, so um, I was just kind of like pacing in circles in front of the green, just talking to them about like how I'm gonna be, how I'm trans. How my girlfriend's supportive and how I want them to be supportive and how like these are the changes that could possibly happen um, and that probably will happen and like it was just it was it was a it was a lot <laughs> it was a lot to, to talk about um, but they were accepting um, my dad um, they did tell me like use the insurance don't go broke <laughs> um, because one thing people will not tell you about starting HRT is that you will go broke. It is super expensive to transition just 
for testosterone and I'm actually pretty on the cheaper side for my testosterone. I pay about $42. Um, but when you add in the cost of blood work, you're looking at about um, easily $250 like every like four to six months. Um, so the second day um, I went had my appointment, sat down, she gave me my shot and my, I do intramuscular, so she gave me my shot and my thigh. I'll stand up so you guys can see, move back. So she gave me my shot, it was right here. Um, so then after that, um, I left, <laughs> actually, I made my second appointment and I left. Um, and then um, I went home, I called my parents, I said, hey, it's done. Um, everybody was super congratulatory, uh, celebratory, um, and happy for me and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, oh, she also gave me some documents on how to, um, how to actually take my shot. And I'll tell you, that'll be another story time, the very, very sh first shot I took, because Guys, I almost messed it up. I, I, I come, mine comes with two needles. If I had used the drawing needle, I don't think I would be taking my shots anymore right now because that needle is thick as hell. But I didn't. I, I, <laughs> um, <laughs> so here we are. Um, but yeah, she gave me some papers. Um, these are them. It's just kind of like how, how to um, take your shots. Um, so like it goes through the process um, step one and it just kind of goes through everything um, I really wish I had the paper that listed all of the um, different prices for everything but I couldn't find it um, but I did find this instead so that's really cool um, <clears throat> but I'm trying to think if I left anything out I think that was all I did to get on testosterone. Um, if you have any questions about how to start, there are different, a lot of different clinics. I, um, I know Planned Parenthood is a really popular one, um, but for me, the way I found my clinic, I asked around. I was just kind of like, I hadn't come out to anybody at the time, so I was just kind of like. So I have a trans friend that uh, that needs. Um, that wants to start tea. Do you guys know any um, any uh, clinics? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, such and such, absolute care. That's where I go, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, oh, for real? Sweet. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I will try to answer them as best as I can. Um, but I think that is, that was my first day and how I got started on tea. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Um, and remember, this is your boy, Morgan, or Matt Turner. I'll see you guys later.